Okay, today we're gonna to be tackling something that happens to me quite a lot. You put aside a day from work, you take some time off, you go away to shoot some sweet, sweet footage and it's too cloudy or something's in the way and it just makes those great shots just look a bit rubbish. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you a few tricks to make these sort of photos look like this. So let's just jump straight in. It's something I've gotta do first. I'm out of coffee. There you go, so much better. Right, so let's just jump straight in. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is start by bringing up Photoshop. And here we've got an image that, uh, I mean, it's a good image. It's, you've got some good leading lines and stuff like that uh, and a good focal point. But the problem is that the, the sky is just a bit bland. Um, it's a bit overcast or a bit blank. And it could just do with a bit of um, sprucing up a bit. So, what you can do is start by going to select, select and mask. So you're going to go over to here to the select tool and you're just going to start selecting across bits that you want. Okay, bring it across. Once you're confident that that is now selected. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the mask tool. Okay, so when you're um, when you're in here, you can start to mask out bits that potentially have a bit more detail into them and uh, that may not have been covered. So little spires like this, or if you've got um, a, a portrait image, then it'll be the hairs on, on sort of people's heads and stuff like that. Okay. Now I'll go over here and uh, choose overlay, bring the uh, opacity up a bit and you're going to see the bits that you've selected and the bits that you haven't. So bring it up to 100% and just start to again mask off the bits that, uh, that you want to include. getting uh, to the point where you can't really see what's behind it just bring the uh, opacity down a bit and you can start moving across here you can end up looking a bit like that so now what you want to do hit OK and boom your uh, your photo gets, uh, gets sort of blanked out here now if you find that there are any parts that you've say so here there are, there are parts here that have sort of been missed off you go back to your uh, your paintbrush tool just up here. Bring it to brush tool. Switch it to uh, switch it to white. Make sure it's on white, and then you can just start to paint these back in. If for some reason there's something that's that's really small that you may think ah, I don't want that. It's just going to be too too pernickety. It's going to be too uh, in the way. You can just delete it off straight away. You just take it all the way off. A bit like this. If you think it's going to, if you think it's just going to ruin your picture, then just blank it out entirely like this. Okay, and just take that off. So it clear up your image a bit. Okay. So these city city blocks. I don't really want these city blocks in. Okay, it just makes, uh, it, it, it detracts from St. Paul's Cathedral, really. And just clear up the image a bit. Okay, again, St. Paul's, it does, it, that little building behind just detracts from it, so. It's really personal opinion whether you want to uh, include stuff or not. So if we come back out, there you go, it looks a bit smarter now. What you now want to do is go to a bit of sky that you um, you think looks good. You're going to select all, copy, and bring it into here. Paste it in and drag it down to the bottom layer. Now, if you just move tool and you just move your skyline, 
the bit that you think looks good. You can always um, adjust the size of it. So we'll bring this, bring this down a bit. Okay, so now essentially bring it up. And I think that skyline just looks a little bit better now. There we go. So obviously now you're left with your foreground and your background. They're gonna be a, a different sort of a tones and colors. You're gonna to wanna to modify that slightly. So if we start to bring in, um, say I've just noticed something there. So if we start to bring in um, some color onto your foreground here. So if you select your foreground and you go up to say your levels, what you wanna do is you hit the Alt key and what it does is it attaches it to that image. So now, if I make any alterations, it will only adjust the foreground of the image. Now if we just bring in a bit of tone, adjust the levels a bit. So obviously you've got a, quite a sort of an orange sky. You may want to bring in a bit more orange onto your, your, uh, your foreground here. So if you attach uh, some color balance, again, Alt, hit it in, and you're gonna wanna bring it some oranges and some reds up. So if you start bringing in a bit of red here, okay, and just bring it, bring down the yellows a bit, you're gonna start seeing that the image starts looking a bit more natural as if that skyline really was meant to be attached to that image okay so now that's what your image used to look like and now you've converted it entirely into something that looks a bit more dramatic and there you have it okay guys if you like the video hit that subscribe button hit that like button and also hit that bell because YouTube doesn't really seem to want to notify uh, you if I upload any videos so uh, you know hit that little bell and uh, you'll get a little uh, notification when I uh, upload my next video. Talking in the next videos, if you wanna know anything or you want a tutorial on any, any uh, Photoshop, uh, then comment below and I'll see what I can do. I'll upload a video on uh, whatever it is. Okay guys, thanks again.